welcome to the Uncommon Cafe. I'm Lisa Lamanis, and together with my husband and chef and crazy person and on-site mechanic Luke, we own the cafe and the Uncommon Siri kitchen. The Uncommon Siri name was uh, created by Luke. He's a little bit silly and he liked to play on words. Uh, we decided to get into this business as we wanted to be part of the food movement that's happening in the city. Uh, we wanted to support local businesses and feel part of a community and feel part of that community. Uh, we looked for a space for around seven months and we finally found this one. It was a great fit for us. Big kitchen, cafe, great location. Uh, lots of the infrastructure was already in place when we moved in. The rest we did on a very small, thin, shoestring budget. Uh, using friends, family, thrift stores, auction houses. We got it to where it is now, but we just like to upgrade stuff to make it a little bit better for our customers. So, welcome to the wrong side of town. So the first half of our business is the cafe. It's the front of house, it's what everyone sees when they first walk in the door. We wanted this to be comfortable, we wanted a place where people could come in, relax, eat good food, and have great drinks. A place where people in the community could come and hang out and afford to eat and be in. Most of our customers are regulars and a lot we know by name. We even celebrate some birthdays. Luke has been a chef for over 12 years and Valentine, our baker, was trained by her chef father in the French culinary ways. So everything that we have in-house is made from scratch. From our muffins to the jalapeno jelly and the braised chicken sandwich. And if we didn't make it in-house, I mean, we're not coffee roasters here, then someone local did. So as I was saying, we do not roast our own coffee, um, but we do support other local businesses in different ways too. Uh, along with the commissary and all this other stuff, we also support local businesses with what we sell out of the cafe. Our coffee comes from We Love Van. Our tea comes from the tea guy, who's in North Van. We sell products from hot sauces, locally made, marshmallows, jams, Trudy the Chai Lady, and our bread comes from a bread affair on Granville Island. So we really find it's important to do everything as local as we can, and if you come in and visit, you'll taste that flavor. Thanks for watching, just to let you guys know what your money will be going towards is replacing the back bar area here. Our leaky button machine there does a great job, but is kind of falling apart and dribbling. Our coffee machine, our espresso machine, we like to bring down to a better level so the girls aren't up here showing it off for all the customers. And in the kitchen, we just need to uh, fix up an oven that's on the blink, and so we can help out the companies that work in here and use our space and support all the small companies trying to grow in Vancouver. Um, thank you very much and oh, bye bye. Jelly time, jalapeno jelly time, that's jalapeno jelly time, jalapeno jelly time. What time is it? Jalapeno jelly time.